Hey everybody, I'm Meds, and I'm in extreme pain right now because I just rammed my foot with a chair right before I hit the record button, but that doesn't matter. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we finished up Bob on Battlefield and Womp's Fortress and got one of the uh, secret castle stars out of the way. One right up there, and in this episode, we shall go into the next level! Jolly Roger Bay! Plunder into the sun- I'm tired right now. Okay, I'm just gonna come out and just say that I'm freaking tired right now. And I was gonna record more- or not record, I was gonna edit the latest versus video. Uh, to interrupt myself. Not a lot of people know you can do this. If you press B at the shell, you can just grab it. I don't know why people don't know you can do that. Because it's a shell there and you- the B button doesn't do anything underwater, so... I don't know. I tried it. Alright, for this... To get the... You need to get in there. And to get this eel out, you need to get close to it and then just start swimming away. And eventually, it'll just pop out. Like, boop, dip. See, there we go. So now, all we need to do is go into the sunken ship through this little window right here. And I'm not going to have enough air to do this. Oh, I'm going to get this wrong. Okay, there's four treasure chests. I start with this one, right? Okay, good. They'll put out a bubble. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to get this wrong. 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 Ha! I got it right! Oh. That's a relief. Uh, come on, turn. Open the chest. All right, now. What you're gonna want to do is go really fast. Oh crap! I didn't even know that was there. Go really fast up to the top so you can skip all of this because it's not fun. And just right there. There's the star. And done. Here we go. You would have to do some weird platforming up all that stuff. If you didn't do that. It's it's not fun. If you're fast enough, you'll make it up. All right. So on to the next one. Can the eel come out to play? I sure hope so. I could use a play pal right now. Uh, so, uh, one thing that's different from the first mission is that there's no, it's not all dark and foggy now. And also, you can see out there on the, like, in the background, the ship has actually, for some reason, risen up. I guess that's what we did whenever we opened the treasure chests and all the water drained out. It wasn't actually draining, I guess it was, like, going up. Not sure why that makes sense, but then again, I'm questioning the logic of Super Mario 64. So, for this one, uh, where'd it go? There it is. There's the eel. Once again, you have to get pretty close to it. Only this time, you just have to kind of sit here. If you don't uh, run away, the eel will actually come out because you pestered it. And on the end of its tail is the star right there. Super simple, unless you miss it, then it's kind of a hassle. Here we go! Uh, but yeah, I was g about to edit the finale of uh, Project M Versus, but... Then I found out I was in the house alone, and what do I do when I'm alone? I record! Because I don't get too much alone time. And I don't like people interrupting me. Anyways, Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Um. Never mind. I was gonna think about doing something first, and then I decided against it because I don't feel like it. All right, so grab the shell here again. I'm not, okay. That's that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. You know what? Screw you, shell. I don't even want you. You hurt my feelings. Ugh. I'm so delusional right now. Okay, so if you come down here to the left, there's this little cave. And if you swim through these, uh, this ring of coins, you get a little life. It's kind of hard to hit, so I'm not even going to bother. Oh, yeah, air and life are the same in this game. So it acts a little weird. If you're ever low on health, if you can find a body of water that you can swim in, it'll just instantly heal you. And, oh, my God, Goombas, falling pillars everywhere. No, get away. Run. All right, so now here we have some treasure chests. Chests. 
what you're gonna want to do is get that one, that one, that one, and this one. Th th this one. And the star should be like right here-ish. Oh, did I get it? Yeah! Here we go! Alright, now I think the fourth mission is the red coin mission. If I'm not mistaken. Which I probably am. Oh no, I got it right! Okay. So, first red coin we're gonna wanna get. Uh. You know what? Never mind. I'm changing my mind a lot this episode. No, never mind the never mind. I changed my mind like three times. There's there's a couple red shoins in these clam shit. Did I just say what I think I said? Because if I did, I sound like an idiot. There's a couple red coins in these clamshells down here. Uh, there's two. One is way down here. These are the only four uh, red coins in the water. The third one is back up. I passed it, if you didn't see it already. Because I was going to come back to it. Although, in hindsight, I probably should have just gotten it because I was right next to it, but whatever. This next clamshell always used to get me. Because I'd never, for some reason, look right there. Even though it's right next to everything. And the other thing I was debating in the episode was... Uh, whether or not to come over here and waste time getting the cannon, but I'd have to go right next to him right now anyways, because there's a red coin on that, uh, little pillar right here. Oh! <laughs> I should not have gotten that. I got very lucky. Uh, camera, you wanna work with me here? Oh, come on! I was up there! Get up! I'm just gonna skip this whole thing. <laughs> oh! What? Aww! That wasn't fair. Uh, whatever. It's not a big deal. Just gonna take a little bit of extra time. Okay. This camera. I'm, I've been playing a little Banjo-Kazooie lately. And the camera is reversed to this one. So I keep... Or at least it, I think it is. I don't know if it is. I, yeah, it's reversed to this one. So I keep trying to press it the other way. I'll get used to it eventually. Or not. Doesn't really matter. Did I just see the star poke through Mario again? Because if I did, that'd be kind of funny. Alright, what's the next mission? Blast to the stone pillar. Okay. So this is what we need the cannon for. Come up here. Get in the cannon. And you blast to the stone pillar. Make sure you kind of get this one kind of high. That's probably too high, but... Oh! Oh, what? So let's try to aim a little bit lower this time, shall we? Come on. There we go. That should be good. And if you aim too low, you won't be able to grab onto it. So you want to kind of try to find that happy medium, which is kind of hard with the Super Mario 64 physics. But not too hard. And unfortunately, we cannot do mission number six yet. We technically can if you're a cheater, but I'm not that good. So what's up next? Uh, the next world, obviously. Ooh, this one takes three stars. Did the last one take three stars? Yeah, I think it did actually. Whatever. This one takes three stars, too. Oh no! Three paintings! Which one will I go in? I guess I'll just run straight. Oh, that's the right one. Okay. I don't know why they put three paintings there. It would have made more sense if the painting was one of the other paintings. But, I don't know. Slip sliding away. Snow Mountain Summit. Watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. Okay. I'm a good boy. I always do as I to uh, I'm told. To All right, slip sliding away. Wee! This is just another. Uh, actually, this is the. Yeah, this is the first slide level shortcut. If you go through, uh, right where that trail of ri uh, I just called them rings. I haven't even played Sonic in forever. Why am I calling them rings? 
It pisses me off when people call rings coins. Why am I calling the coins rings? Oh no! Where am I going? I got completely thrown off. Uh, yeah, this is the first slide level, and I completely skipped like half of it. But that's because I'm never not gonna get a good chance to show that off again. Or any other time. As I probably should have said. Alright, star number one. Or 23, technically. 22? Yeah, 22, technically. Alright, what's the next mission? Little Lost Penguin! Alright. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I was gonna try to do this kind of normal, but I don't feel like it. Here's the Lost Penguin. Uh, you're gonna want to jump down this way because this is the fastest way to do it. Although, make sure you don't fall down. Oh, I dropped the penguin. No! No, you get back here! I'm actually really surprised that I was able to catch him. Yeah, just come down this way. Uh, what? Where'd it go? Did I drop it? I was able to catch him. No! What happened? What happened to the penguin? Okay, whatever. I guess the penguin's like, oh no, egad, my baby. Have you seen my baby? She's the most precious baby in the whole wide world. They sh say she has my beak. No, your beak's on your face still. I just can't remember where I left her. Let's see, I stopped for hair. Herring? Herring? I just don't know. Okay. Well, I bet your baby is the one that's right here because this game is super easy and... Yeah. Here it is. You're stupid lady. You lost your baby on top of a house. That's not my baby. She looks nothing like me. Her parents must be worried sick. <laughs> so I'll just leave it here with you. <laughs> okay. Uh, one secret about this level is there's a warp point right over here. And it'll take you back to the top. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, it's there. I wasn't hearing it chirping, so I didn't know... Okay. That scared me for a second. I thought it was just gone forever for some reason. Did I drop it? I don't remember dropping it. Okay. It's not a big deal. We have the baby now. Uh, oh no! And there we go. You found my precious baby! Or precious, precious baby! Where have you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? Oh, I do have this! Star! Here, take it with my eternal gratitude. I mean, thanks for the gratitude, but I really only want the power star. And now to be totally original and steal the baby. Ah ha ha, she gets mad. And then drop it off a cliff because I'm clever. Oh, drop it off a cliff because... Drop it off a cliff because I'm clever. I thought I was the funniest kid alive whenever I thought to do that. And then I got on the internet and found out everybody else had the same idea. I, I keep doing that. And it already screwed me once today. Big penguin race! Alright, this one... We also go into the cottage. And surprise, surprise! There's a big penguin! Hey, Mario, buddy! How is it going? Or is that... Hey! I'm just gonna say it's... Hey! hey. Step right up! You look like a fast sledding kind of guy! I don't have a sled but I can slide. I know speed when I see it. Yes, sirree. I'm the world champion sledder, you know. What do you say? How about a race? Ready? Go! Uh, sir, I see no sled. I think that's technically illegal. You're disqualified as of right now. Although technically I'm not using sled. Whatever, I'll let it slide. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Unintentional puns are hilarious! Oh my gosh, I'm so funny without even trying right now. Can you guys tell I'm tired? <laughs> I mean, not that I've just been spouting off that I'm tired this entire episode so far, but dang, I'm tired. 
Alright, come on. Talk to me. Thank you. You broke my record! Unbelievable! I knew you were the coolest, now you've proven that you're also the fastest! I can't award you with the gold medal, but here, take this star instead! You've earned it! Yeah, you bet I have. Alright, star number 20... Does the star counter change as soon as you get the star? Yeah, I guess it does. Star number 24. I've talked about nothing of value in this episode, but I don't care, because that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I will see you next time, whenever we hopefully finish up the rest of Cool Cool Mountain. Goodbye.